And the personal branding is becoming kind of a hot topic these days to identify who you are and what you represent. So why it is important and how can job seekers can start building their uh, personal brand online these days? Yeah, a lot of people in the working world don't think that much about this idea of personal or professional brand. And mm -hmm. a personal brand is nothing more than your reputation, your reputation among colleagues, reputation in the marketplace. And people don't realize it, but whether you are intentional about building that brand or not, you have a personal brand, you have a reputation uh, among people that you work with and in the marketplace. So you might as well be intentional about creating that brand and creating mm -hmm. that reputation. You know, there's a myth out there that uh, a lot of time people get promoted or get jobs mm -hmm. uh, entirely because of their skills or their experience or things they've accomplished, when really a lot of times it comes down to who you know, and the brand that you've established that yes. reputation, you know, what people think of you. And so there are things you can do to, um, to, to create that brand to yeah. Um, improve what people think of you. It's it's about how you show up at work. How do you show up for your colleagues? What type of projects do you take on? How well mm -hmm. do you collaborate with other people? Uh, that's inside your company, right? If yeah. you're going for job interviews, how do you show up for that? How do you dress? How do you present yourself? How do you talk? Are you curious? Are you interested in certain things? Um, do you seem like you're energetic and enthusiastic and eager to jump in uh, and do the work? And then there's also the brand that you can be building in the marketplace. Are you creating content on LinkedIn or other mm -hmm. social media channels? Are you commenting and interacting on other people's content? Because social media is, you know, some people hate it. Some people love it. I personally yeah. love it. it. It's name of the game, right? It's, it's the world that we live in. It, yes. it's the business world revolves around it. So you can partake in that. And how are you showing up? And are you sharing content? It doesn't have to be original content. It could be articles that you've read, books that you've read. Um, if you're watching this video right now, that Meher posted, you could share this and say, hey, I just watched this video. I'm really interested in this topic of personal branding. And mm -hmm. then that signals to other people that you're learning, you're curious, you know things about this particular topic. And I've talked to recruiters about this. I recruited, I, 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 I quoted my friend, Adam Posner, who yes. runs a recruiting business in my book about this and asked them like, you know, when you're going on and looking at candidates and you look at their LinkedIn, are you just looking at their resume, their CV? Or are you also looking at things they've posted, how they've interacted with others? He said, absolutely, we look at all those things. We take a holistic approach because it's all part of the brand that you're creating. So think about that, whether you're building a business or you're building a career, um, that everything you're doing out there, how you interact with people, how you interact on social media, mm -hmm. it all is part of your brand that you're building your reputation. And it informs and influences how people think about you and it could help you get that next job or hurt you from getting that next job. Yeah. I totally agree with you. LinkedIn, LinkedIn, creating content and personal branding are the things that recruiters check when they check your LinkedIn. Are you active there? What can, what can you bring to the table? Why we need to choose you or, or others? That's all the things that uh, job seekers need to do before applying or doing applying for jobs. So thank you for that, Andy. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of personal branding, please leave comments below and tune in next time for other great questions with Andy.